Hi crafters, and welcome to the third class in our basic jewelry making course. Today, we are making a necklace. Basically, everything you've learned in the other two courses we'll be using today to make this necklace. So Chloe, what are we doing? <laughs> we are going to make a single strand necklace. And that will match great with the earrings and the bracelet. It coordinates with the other two pieces, the earrings and the bracelet, yes. And um, you'll find that making necklaces is very much like making bracelets. They're just longer. <laughs> At least beaded strand necklaces. So let's get started. Okay. Uh, the first thing is everyone will cut a 24 inch length of wire, but I have ours pre-cut for us. Thank you. And we'll set that aside momentarily. And we're going to take a four millimeter jump ring. That's the small one that comes in the bundle. And we're going to open it up using our tools. Gotta find where it splits. The more you use the tools, the easier it gets. That's true. Then we're going to take the lobster clasp and slide this jump ring through the loop at the bottom of the clasp and close it nice and snug. You're going to wiggle that back and forth until those ends touch. Let me know when you are done. Still wiggling. <laughs> Ah, there you go. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Next, we're going to take the beading wire, slide on a crimp tube, slide the end of the wire through that jump ring that's attached to the lobster clasp, bring it around and back through the crimp tube, very much like we did, same technique that we used for the bracelet. Then we're going to grab the needle nose pliers. Okay. And we're going to slide that crimp tube snug up against the jump ring. And we are going to give it a good pinch to hold it in place. Next, we're going to take our side cutters and cut off the little tail. How you doing, Amy? Okay. There you go. Great. Next, we're going to start stringing on beads. And if you follow me in order, I'll tell you what we're going to start with. Sounds good. Let me know when you're ready. I am ready. And once again, we're going to try to select similar size and shape beads, although this is Bohemian and it's not going to be perfect. That's part mm -hmm. of its charm. So we're going to start with five yellow. Is this going to be like last class and you're going to always be ahead of me? <laughs> <laughs> then one turquoise, one bronze, Five turquoise. Mm -hmm. 
one yellow. One yellow, one bronze, another yellow, five more turquoise. Oh, there's casualty. <laughs> And five more bronze. Next, five yellow. It might, it can be helpful to grab few between your fingers at the same time. If you're lucky, they're similar in shape. Okay, next, one turquoise, one bronze, and another turquoise. Then five more yellow. fun to play around when you start making your own designs with patterns and combinations of things. And you would use the beading mat to um, work out your patterns on. Yeah. You could, yes. You could lay, lay them out to get an idea of how they look. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Five turquoise. bronze, one yellow. Five more turquoise. Five bronze. Yep. Now we're ready to put on our gold nugget accent. These all vary a little bit size and shape because they are gold embossed stone. So you want to figure out which way it's going to lie best against your chest. And I think, because you want that to be facing forward, I think on mine, I like this side. The back is flat, but the front is one. I like the facets, which is another word for the different ridges. You can see yours. Yeah. Okay, everyone, at this point, all you have to do to complete the necklace is bead the same pattern we just did, 
but in reverse. I'll insert a photo of the completed necklace here so you can pause the video and use this as a guide. When you're done beading, be sure to unpause the video so we can complete the necklace together. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is attach, use a crimp tube to attach this six millimeter jump ring to the other end of the necklace. Now I see that my jump ring is not really together. So I'm gonna take my tool, uh, my needle nose pliers and my three in one and I'm just gonna wiggle the ends so those line up and use my pliers to help me. Now it's nice and snug. Take the crimp tube, slide it down, go through the jump ring. Oops. And back through the crimp. pliers and squeeze that crimp closed nice and snug. The last step is to cut off the tail. Oh, sometimes there's another little trick. Sometimes Lobster clasps can be difficult to open mm -hmm. the first time. So whenever that happens, I take my needle nose pliers and they help me. Because mine just did that to me. It did eventually open, but. And I just open that with my pliers and then that takes care of the problem. Pretty. You made a necklace. I made a necklace. Ta da! Oh wow, this is awesome. Let me what? add it to my ensemble. Very nice. Oh, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oh, and another, uh, just another note is if anybody wanted to make this necklace longer or shorter, more like a choker you would just add fewer beads or more, and you would just keep continuing the same pattern if you wanted it longer. Oh, it's lovely. Well, thank you so much, Chloe, for You're teaching welcome. me how to use all of these tools Very and helping welcome. me in the class. I can't believe we've gotten through our last class. Oh, it's so great. It's been so fun. Be sure to join us on our social media Facebook group. Share your designs. Could you be our crafter of the week? Win a prize? Maybe. <laughs> Very exciting. Maybe. And if you crafters have any ideas of any jewelry classes you'd like to see in the future, please comment below. And your class idea could be our next class. So thanks again and hope to see you in the next class. Bye. Bye.